Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and my space. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Raquel and those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back on another one of my videos. I'm going to give um, a couple quick announcements um, before I start the Weekend Pick a Pile. If you are not new to the Weekend Pick a Piles and you don't want to hear the messages, go ahead. To, I've provided timestamps below. If you are new, <laughs> hi, welcome to my channel. Um, with these pick a piles, all you gotta do is take a couple of deep breaths in, a couple of, you know, hold it and then take and then let it out really slowly and do that until you are completely relaxed. Ask yourself the question, what is going to come into focus for me this weekend? What area of life is, um, is going to be affected most this weekend and then once you've got a clear head open up your eyes and go to whatever pile or piles you are drawn to the most um, and then that'll be your reading it can be ha happening to you um, or it could be happening around you so it could you could be drawn to a pile and you need to hear the message because somebody else is going through it in your in your reality or it could be you going through it. Put it however it best resonates with you. Um, now my quick announcements are, is I am playing major catch up for um, the month of March. I took the last week of February off because I was sick and I just had to regain my energies back. So um, I'm sorry that there was no weekly tarot scope for, um, for your signs for the last week of February and the first week of March. It will change next week. Um, there will be a week, I will be doing a weekly for the second week. And um, I'm getting back into the weekend pick piles as well. And I also plan on uploading more spooky story Sundays. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and click subscribe or like the video or whatever. Um, that way, click subscribe. That way you know when I upload. All right. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to bring the camera down and I'm going to show you these piles. Please excuse any dust or debris you see around here. I tried to get most of it off. I saged my space today. So some of the sage ashes fell. So just try not to look at that. But all right, here we go. We're going to pause it. Sorry you saw my hand in there. I just noticed that my candle was a little too close to my um, plastic flowers. So, um, all right. So now we're going to go into the piles. Hi, all my pile ones. If you picked pile one, this is the reading for you. That up there. All right. So if you picked pile one, this is all about your spiritual knowledge. This is about your conscience being expanded um, this weekend. Um, it's about you uh, really getting in, to digging down, using that inner wisdom that you always have and always had had and bringing that up into the surface and taking a gamble or a risk on something um, that has to do with the spiritual nature, really putting your um, your time, your effort, becoming more strict <laughs> with it is what I guess I should say. We've got your overall message for the weekend is follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. So if you've been thinking about having, um, getting more in touch with your spiritual side, if you've been thinking about, you know, I don't know, maybe learning tarot or learning astrology or, you know, just coming in, even if, if you don't believe in that, if you, um, 
it's more about your spiritual soul awareness. If you've been curious about it, it's about you following that curiosity, seeing where it can take you, seeing where it can lead. This is all happening in your eighth house. The eighth house, this transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. So this is a um, very transformative weekend for you. Those of you who have been seeking the path of enlightenment, those of you who have been um, really delving into your spiritual side, there's some type of transformation happening for you this weekend. Um, and they're telling you, and what I'm getting from spirit, is that if you're curious about following a certain path spiritually, you're being pushed and told, you know, pushed to go down that path. You're being guided to go down to that path. We've got Gemini is the um is the main thing that is being lent to this. It's the main astrological sign. So some of you could be a Gemini. If you're a Gemini, this is something that um this reading is really going to speak to you. If you know a Gemini, a Gemini can be very, very predominant in this transformation for you this weekend. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, informative, stimulating exchange, a simulating exchange is possible. So this could be um, you communicating more with spirit for some of you who are into that spirituality thing, or you're going to be communicating with a lot of people this weekend, or maybe not a lot of people, but a couple of people this weekend about your spirituality. This could also mean that you and a Gemini are having more of a con a deep, meaningful conversation that is like soul transforming, putting you on a higher level. It's about your evolution, your soul evolution. So um, this could be you maybe coming out of the closet and saying, okay, I believe in spirituality now or you know, stuff like that. So take that however that resonates with you. And the energy that's being lent to this this weekend is Saturn. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. So there, there might be some challenging situations this weekend that you are going to face. Um, but they're saying, you know, take a gamble with it. They're saying, take that risk. Put in that work. Put in that effort. Okay, this is about you transforming. This is about your spiritual side becoming coming alive, lit up, activated, alive. All right. So the angel that's around you, that's helping you through this, and the message that they have for you, okay? We've got Sandalophon. That's the angel. And then we've got evolution. So like I said, you know, we've got the eighth house here, which is all about death and transformation. And then we've got, you know, that Gemini, that communicating with spirit, communicating um, with <laughs> maybe the angels, you know, sand elephant. And then really putting in that work. This is about you following that curiosity that you've always had and putting in the work so that you can evolve and transform this weekend. See a lot of um, solar plexus chakra. So maybe miss, miss, listening <laughs> to solar plexus chakra meditations could really help you out this weekend. If you don't um, listen to meditations, I did put a link in the description box below um, of the two channels that I watch here on YouTube for my meditations. They help out a lot, especially if you're going through a spiritual awakening or dark night. And, you know, this is saying, you know, this weekend, they the angels really want you to follow your curiosity, whatever you have been curious about. It doesn't have to be spiritual. It can just be saying Follow that communicate or follow that curiosity. Maybe somebody, a Gemini comes to you and tells you of a certain thing that they like or a certain thing that they're going to try to start doing. And it's like, you're a little curious about that. That's a following that is going to help you transform and evolve into a higher spiritual being. And they're saying, take the gamble on that. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to pull a card for each of these um, for each of these right here, and let's see what is going on. You already have the knowledge that's inside of you. It's something that you're destined to do. You're destined to follow. So they're telling you to follow that curiosity. If something piques your interest or you get a thought or you get an idea, um, you need to follow it. You need to go with your creativeness here. You need to put some hard work in. Yes, it's going to take some hard work, um, but it's going to give you more knowledge uh, in this thing, and it's going to help you transform and evolve to the to the spiritual being that you need to be. All right, so one more shuffle, and then I'll cut. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So some of you might be taking some time out to yourself this weekend, really getting in touch with your inner self, getting in touch with that creative side. Um, and a sudden idea is going to pop in your head. For some of you out there, it's a sudden idea. And it's like you have to really keep that to yourself. You've got to really explore it. Follow your curiosity on it. Some of you, a Virgo, could be involved here. Um, but that, or a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, because they're all three on the bottom of the deck. We've got the devil, temperance, and the hermit. So this is, these three bottom energies right here speak of putting that time, that effort into something, having that patience, having that stillness of mind so that you can have laser focus to get it done. Capricorn um, or the devil Capricorn also with Saturn right here that is telling me you know it's you're going to have to put some work in you're going to have to use your wisdom your knowledge to accomplish whatever goal that you have um, set for you that you have set for yourself all right so on top of the eighth house we have the knight of coins now this tells me with this, this is a transformation that has been in the long time coming. This is something that you have put forth a lot of effort, a lot of work. You've gone at a steady, slow pace, so that way you can accomplish it right. All right, well, they're saying that this transformation that has been coming in for you, it's the reason why it took so long, the reason why you keep feeling like you're not evolving or you're not transforming is because you've put a lot of hard work and effort in. And sometimes hard work and effort takes a while for, for it to come through. Okay. Um, a Virgo could be very, <laughs> could be very, very um, significant in Virgo or Capricorn. There's a lot of earth energy here, which speaks of knowledge and wisdom. You had to gain that knowledge. You had to gain that wisdom, maybe through fights with other people, maybe through, you know, butting heads with others, but you have like stubbornly pushed through. All right. And it's now time for this transformation. If you don't feel like you've transformed from this process, take a look back six months ago or even a year ago and see how much different you are from back then till now. You will see transformation doesn't just happen overnight. It takes a while for it to happen. We've got the Emperor with Gemini, so an Aries could be significant. But with the Emperor and the Gemini, it's like taking control of your situation, taking control of your life, taking control of what it is that you want to accomplish. And with Gemini, it's, this energy speaks about communicating. Aries, they're very outspoken. They tell it like it is, right? And with the Gemini, that's all about communication. 
So it's like communicating, standing in your own, standing in, standing your ground, okay? Follow that curiosity, take control. This is about taking control of your life. This is about transforming and evolving into a better, higher person, a better, higher self. All right, and they're saying they want you to take a look back eight months. Okay, thank you. Eight months ago. Who were you were eight months ago? What was going on for you? Are you different? How have you transformed? Okay, and own it. All right, own it. You gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom there. And on top of Saturn, we've got coins, the two. Okay, so this is all about balancing, working hard to balance your environment, your financial status, um, your spirit. This is all about it coming into balance now. You finally being able to, through hard work, through some dedication. Now, with this, your um, advice is knowledge and gamble, all right? Knowledge and gamble. And with these two being your advice, I take it as you already have the knowledge. Things have happened to you, well, for you, <laughs> over the past eight months. And it's like it was making you more knowledgeable about a certain situation, about a certain person, uh, about yourself. And it's like you took that risk. You took that gamble. They're telling you to take a risk and a gamble on yourself now, all right? Whatever this is that you are curious about, that you want to go for, that you want to go towards, you already have the knowledge on how on how to do it or what it is that you want to go for. You need to follow that curiosity, okay? Because this is going to help you transform into an even higher being. All right, so this weekend, in summary, this weekend, something's going to come up. It might be a little bit challenging, but it's transforming you. All right, so whatever that challenge is that comes up this weekend, find the knowledge in it and follow your curiosity. Whatever this challenge does that sparks your curiosity into something, Follow that curiosity because it will not lead you astray. It's leading you to transformation. Okay? Well, all my pile ones, that is what I'm getting for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to me, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get future videos from me, I try to give weekend pick a piles out every week. So, yeah, if you want another one. <laughs> all right. Bye. Hi, all my pile twos. If you pick pile two, this reading is for you. Um, this reading, as I laid it out and as I, as I was looking at the cards, the overall, what I'm feeling from it, it's like you coming into a new you. Okay, this is you not realizing or not understanding um, the depth of who you truly are, okay? And this is about, you know, understanding it, having fun with it, and but being grounded with it, not letting it carry you away or take you over, all right? So the main message for this is who in the world are you getting to know the new you? So some of you um, who are drawn to this pile, there might have been some type of shakeup or mix up or some type of challenge that just came out of the blue um, and really shook you up for a minute or two. And it's like after that happened, after the dust settled, you realized that you're a different person now. You've changed. But who is this new person that you have changed into? 
Okay, so this could be a situation that has already happened, or this could be a situation that might be happening this weekend. But whatever it is, it has transformed you into a new person, and it's getting to know who that new person is. This area, the area of life that is it's happening for you is the 12th house. Now, the 12th house is all about the things that are hidden, the things that we don't know, the things that we don't understand okay so when you have had this thing happen in the past um it transformed you it changed you and it might have like i said came out of the blue because 12th house it's like it's something that's going on behind the scenes and then all of a sudden it happens but it happens because spirit is guiding you spirit wants to help you make those necessary changes in your life all right, so whatever it was that turned you in to this new you. Now, the first pile was all about transformation. Now, the second pile, we've got who are you? It's like you have already transformed. And it's like learning who you are. All those little bits and pieces that are inside of yourself that have been hidden for so long that are now finally exposed, okay? Now, the main zodiac that um, is for you this weekend is Aries. Now, this could be, you could be an Aries that this is happening to, or there could be an Aries around you that is helping you through this process. The energy around you is dynamic, spontaneous, crusading, impulsive. Action is lively. So Aries is all about control. It's about doing things spontaneously, thinking outside of the box, um, jumping, <laughs> you know, just doing something because they are not basic people. Let's put it that way. They're not basic people because they're always like just spontaneously jumping on something or spontaneously doing something. Okay. So with this, I feel like this is an aspect of you that maybe you you're just learning um, is a part of you. Maybe you are that person that likes to be in control and you are that person that likes to lead the crowd. You want to spontaneously inspire other people to do things out of the blue, out of the ordinary. Um, and this might be a quality that you have, that you've always had, but it's been hidden from you. Um, the planet energy that's being lent here is Chiron. So what this tells me is it's something that um, happened in the past that changed you. It's something um, that wounded you pretty badly. And it, it, it stems from a past life. You were wounded the same way in a past life, or it's like you wounded somebody else the same way. And this this whole finding out who you truly are and, you know, taking contr back control. Ah, thank you, Spirit. This is about taking com back control of your own life and who you are. Unearthing the, oh, wow, thank you. Unearthing that which is hidden inside of you, okay? There might be some wounds from the past that you need to heal that need to be fully healed this weekend and they might be coming or being brought back up for you to confront for you to heal from all right and they're telling you to take control this is about you taking control of what's hidden what's hidden down deep what's hidden from you all right what is that wound that you hide so deeply because it causes, it has caused so much pain, all right? This is going to um, kind of be opened up this weekend. I want to say it feels more, not so much, it's like it's exposed. Like you finally get it. You finally understand why that happened to you. And it's like, it's like you can let it go. You can let it go now. It's like you spontaneously just realize, oh, I can let it go. It doesn't bother me anymore. You're taking back control over this wound that has been, that you have, that you have hidden so deep in, so deep, deep in, deep in. Why did you say deep in? All right. So the angel that's around you this weekend is Zafkiel 
ecstasy. And what he wants to bring to the table and what he wants to say is don't get so lost and so caught up in why it happened or how it happened. Don't, you know, that has already come and gone. You've already healed. Oh, thank you. You've already healed from it. Stop bringing it up. Take control of your life. Don't sit in that victim mentality. Have some fun. Have some ecstasy. Put some joy into your life. Don't keep focusing on the negative. If you keep focusing on the negative, you will always be in the negative. All right? So they want you to add some positivity to your life. Maybe just, you know, wake up one day and say, I'm going to go for a hike or, you know, you could be going about your day and you, and you say, you know what, I'd really like to get this one project done and like spontaneously do it or, you know, go, I'm not saying spontaneously shop, but, you know, do something that brings you joy. Spon <laughs> You're going to spontaneously bring something that, br that uh, do something that brings you joy this weekend. Um, we've got Raphael, Earth Force as well. You got two angels and you're the only pile that has had two angels. So this is definitely, they feel, um, I feel like this weekend is going to be very, um, enlightening for you, very healing and transformative for you. You've already transformed from this energy. But now they're saying you need to realize that this already happened and you've already healed from it. OK, so you need to do some grounding, do some grounding, you know, bring in that earth like um, that earth like energy. Some of you might need to get out and take a walk. Your heart chakra and your throat chakra are being lit up right here. So you might want to do those balancing meditations as well as your solar plexus because I'm seeing um, yellow as everywhere. So those three chakras, you know, right here, get those in line for this weekend. All right. So now I'm going to do the tarot and I'm going to pull a card for each one of these and we're going to see what this is about for you. But I'm getting a deep sense that this is a wound, a past wound that you've already healed from that is going to be brought up this weekend. All right. And it's going to be like, you're going to be like, wow. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. You're going to dominate it. You're going to be like, this no longer bothers me. This no longer hurts me. And you're able to let it go. This is one step in finding yourself because I feel like you have, okay, so for some of you that are drawn to this pile, you have um, this sense that you don't know yourself anymore. You feel like you're losing control. You don't know who you are anymore. And they're saying that um, the reason why you're feeling that is because you're working through past karma, past debt, and it's not going to last very long. Something is going to happen this weekend that's going to pull you out of it, and it's going to bring you a lot of joy, and it's going to make you finally realize who you truly are. And I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be helping somebody who is going through this process right now. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Okay, so bottom of the deck is the sun. Yeah, this is a great weekend for you. This is an amazing weekend for you. Whatever traumas, whatever happened in the past, it's finally resolved inside of you. You have that healing, okay? Um, you just got to acknowledge it and you got to take control over it. You got to say, this no longer hurts me. You have to say, I deserve to have fun. I deserve to have, you know, ecstasy in my life, joy in my life. You know, some of you might, you might be, some of you, this could be um, a partner, a soul, a soul partner, somebody from your past life that is returning here. And it's like, you have to get to know the new you before you can give them, before you can hop into this relationship. 
Um, for others, it could be an Aries coming for you um, or to you. Uh, but for others of you, it's like you standing in your own, you having that sense of self. And because of that, you're bringing lots of joy and lots of happiness into your life this weekend. And it could be that, you know, a Cancer or a Leo is coming back into your, or Sagittarius. But yeah, you're healing from all the stress, all the worry, all the burden, you know, feeling alone because you have faith. And it's like you're following your intuition. We've got the moon and the sun. So it's like properly balanced here. Your um, powers or your um, energy is coming into alignment of proper balance. You're finally coming into yourself. You're finally getting to know yourself, okay? And in order to do that, you have to act on those things that you want to do. So if, you know, it's something that you don't normally do and it's out of the blue, act on it, all right? Put that fire behind it. There's a lot of fire energy here. So for some of you, it's going to be a very hot and heavy weekend. You might be with your partner. <laughs> um, for others of you, it's just, you know, you get in that past, that passion, that ecstasy, that zest for life back, all right? Okay, after a long time of, of hurt, okay, after a long time of hurt, it's like you finally coming into alignment with your soul self and with your partner. For some of you, this is like a partner, <laughs> lots and lots of sex this weekend <laughs> for some of you out there. Hot and heavy weekend. Okay, we got the Eight of Cups with the 12th house here. And what this is telling me is that you are unknowingly, unknowingly walking away from a certain situation that is not fulfilling for you anymore. You are mentally, and I feel like because this is the 12th house, it's like you're mentally stepping away from that negativity or mentally you know, taking a break, taking a pause from that energy, all right? It could be Pisces involved because Pisces rules the 12th house and we have Pisces right here. So for those of you who are a Pisces, this could very well relate to you. Um, those of you who are Aries that has a Pisces in their life, this could just say that a hidden, <laughs> and if you're a single, <laughs> if you're single, a hidden and you don't have to be an Aries, but a hidden person is coming into your life, a Pisces, a Pisces person that maybe you didn't realize was there or whatever, a new person. I'm getting like new vibes off of this is coming back into your world. It also could be that this person, oh, and thank you. It, this person's from a past life. This is a past life connection. We've got the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups speaks of bringing a message of love, message, and, you know, this paired with the Aries, um, this is telling me this is a newfound love for yourself, especially with the coming in under who in the world are, are you? It's like now you're finally realizing, you're finally getting it. You're finally understanding what makes you happy and what you want and what you don't want. And it's like, you know, with that 12th house and that Pisces, it's like you taking a step back, you taking a step away mentally, you know, physically, whatever it is, but doing it unknowingly. Just like, just doing it unknowingly. All right. What do we got here? We got the Empress with Chiron. This is very healing energy, okay? So this is saying that um, you have gone through this process, this healing process, okay? And now you're being called to help the other, to help your other, maybe it's your other half. Maybe it's the person that's coming into your life this weekend, um, whoever, whatever the case may be, it's like you've learned a great deal of lessons from this. You've hurt a great deal from it, but because of that, because you've because you've went through it, because you've healed from it, you can help others heal. All right. And for some of you, this could be a Virgo or a Taurus coming in to help you heal from these past wounds. But whatever the case may be here, this is a very healing weekend for you. You've already healed and now you're stepping into your own. It's like, but you don't know who you truly are yet. And it's like, you've got to, 
you know, interpret it right. You got to, you know, take some time um, to balance yourself out. For some of you, you have already done that. And it's like, because you've already done that, you've got this new person coming in. All right. Because now you know who you are. Others of you, it's getting together with that person. Ooh, I'm feeling all sorts of like <laughs> good vibrations, if you get what I'm saying. All right. So what is your advice? We've got fire spontaneity and palmistry interpretation. Okay. So with these two right away, what I'm getting for you, Kyle, two, is it's like, there's going to be certain signs this weekend and certain clues, <laughs> I guess, if that's what you want. Clues to follow and act on. Okay, so there, there's going to be some types of messages coming in that's going to spark um, this this new you, <laughs> this, this new you that you know you are. It's going to spark something in you. And they're saying that you need to follow that. Okay, you need to interpret the signs that are coming to you, what you're feeling. Use your intuition here um, and act on it. You need to act on it like right away, immediately. Spontan <laughs> this card right here, spot uh, spontaneity and fire, and there's a lot of fire right here. So there's something that you're going to need to act on this weekend. They need you. It's going to happen real quick. Like, and I'm noticing the fire in the, the hands, the fire right there. There's a lot of fire here. Um, this is something that has been building and building and building. And maybe you weren't aware of it for a very long time. This is about you following what's going to make you emotionally happy is what I'm feeling. And it's something that you're unaware of. And it's like been building and building and building. And it's going to explode into your reality. And they want you to take it on because you have learned all these valuable lessons. All right. This is something that is past from a past life that you need to, to really fully come into in this life. All right. So to break it basically down is you're coming into some sort of balance this weekend. You're fine. You're figuring out who you truly are this weekend and you're acting on it. And for a lot of you that were drawn to this, it's either a new passion that's starting or it is like being very passionate with your partner because it's like you're both on the same page now. So you're really like um, exploring each other, I guess is what I would say. Um, but yeah, that's all the messages I'm getting for you. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to have more readings from me, I do try to post uh, weekly pick weekend pick a piles every week, as well as monthlies, monthly loves, and weeklies. So <laughs> yeah, I post a lot. Um, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure the bell is wiggling. And I hope you all have a very great weekend. Wish you all the very best. Bye. Pile my pile threes. If you pick pile three, this pile is for you. All right. So what I'm gathering as I laid out the cards and, you know, I was really getting in tune with the cards energy here. What I'm getting is that there is something um, within your past, maybe within your family, I feel for a lot of you, it's within your family, a past mistake or some type of nostalgia that you cannot get rid of, that you have been stuck in. You have been stuck in the past when it deals with your family, when it deals with how you go about your, you know, interacting with your family. Okay. And what you are being called to do is take some time out and ask for some guidance this weekend. Take some time to yourself, meditate, really get in touch with yourself this weekend. So then that way you can, um, let go of the past. Don't get stuck in the past. Your main goal and objective this weekend is to let the past go. The past is in the past. You cannot change it. You can only look towards the future. Be a forward.
thinker. And to do that, you have to let go of the past. You have to say, okay, that's in my past. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I will choose to let it go and actually do let it go. Because sometimes we say that we're going to let it go and then we don't. Um, you know, you've got to tell yourself, take that time to yourself, really have that conversation with yourself and say, is this really bettering me? Is this really making me move forward into that happiness that I want and I deserve? All right. <clears throat> so your main message here, we have a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. So for some of you, this could be um, where you feel like you've made a mistake within the family home. This also could be where you feel like you've made a mistake some part in your past that has affected and you have seen it brought into your, to your future life or your present life right now. And it's like you keep thinking about it. Your mind keeps wandering back there. There's a little gremlin inside your head, you know, that keeps reminding of you, you of it. Don't regret the past because everything that happened to you in the past happened for you and it made you the person you are today. So there's no reason, no reason to regret it, okay? Also, there's no reason to dwell in it. Yeah, even if they are good memories that are being brought up this weekend for you, don't stick in those good memories, okay? It's nice to remember, you know, to, to see the memories or, or to think about the memories, but don't stay stuck there, okay? Sometimes you've got to let those memories go so that new memories can form. New good things can happen in your life, all right? And that's what they're saying here is don't get too stuck in the past because when you're too stuck in the past, your future can't come in. You won't be, you won't live in the future, all right? You're living in the past. Don't live in the past, okay? Now, the area of life that is going to be most affected is your fourth house. So this is, you know, your home, your family. This is your roots. This could be your family that you were, that you were born into, or it could be the family that you have created, all right. Um, but whatever the case may be there, there's some sort of nostalgia wrapped up in, around this. And it's like you're living in that past. You need to break free from that in order to um, to better obtain your new wishes, your new desires, your new dreams. OK, now the astrological sign that's going to be most effective for you during this weekend is Aquarius. The energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. So this has all to do with um, how you communicate with the world, how you go about in the world, okay? Letting go of that regret so that you can move forward, so that you can future think, so that you can live, in, live for your future instead of live in your past, okay? Um, and this also could be that an Aquarius returns is returning to you from the past and it's like you're you're thinking too much or maybe you're thinking too much about an Aquarius um, or maybe you're an Aquarius that's thinking that's not thinking forwardly you're thinking because you are so stuck in what happened in the past. Whatever the case is, it has to do with your family. It has to do with your roots or your, your current family. So do not get stuck in the past this weekend. You want to forward think. You want to let whatever was in the past go. Don't hang on to the nostalgia. Don't hang on to the regret because you are at a different point in your life now and you need to think about your future. We have Vesta as the planet or the asteroid or the star that is being lent, the energy that's being lent to this. And Vesta is all about solitude, taking that time out to ask yourself spiritually, um, where am I going next? What is my next move? Spirit, please help guide me. Where do I need to go next? All right. This is about you living in your soul self. You asking your spirit what your spirit wants you to do, what your soul self wants you to do and going for it. You know, some of you, this could be you breaking free from your family. This could be you going on your own. 
if you are that, if you are like, you know, 17, 18, 19, you know, around that time when most people leave their, their family home and start their own family or, you know, move forward into the future, this could be saying, don't be, don't make your, don't let your family make you feel guilty for it. Don't, um, don't regret having to do it because this is better for you. This is helping you obtain your goals. This is helping you reach what it is that you want to reach for. All right. The angel being lent to this weekend is Raziel Retreat. And I just, Spirit just brought it out to me, this right here, it's reminding me of an eyeball. So in order to, sometimes in order to see the best path for ourselves or to see the best choice to make or the right road to take, we have to take a step back from that decision. We have to retreat from everything around that decision so we are not influenced so we are unbiased and we can make the right decision we can ask our intuition and make the right decision here all right so they're telling you unite so that you can get the clarity that you need you need to retreat go see <laughs> the cave go go into your own little cave here for the weekend all right, so then this way you can let go of whatever past regret there is, and you can really confront it and let it go, because this has to do with your family. Some of you, you could be in that mode where you don't want to be around anybody this weekend. You really want to take that time out for yourself. You want to have the freedom to be who you want to be and not regret who you are going to be. For you to want to stand out as who you are within your own family and not be afraid to do that or feel guilty because you have to do that. All right. So some of you have to take that step back and really go with inside yourself and ask yourself, is this the best path for me? We've got, um, well, you know what, I'm going to jump into that in a minute, Spirit. But before I do, let's get some tarot cards for this. Let's see if we can get some more clarification or confirmation on these cards. But, you know, just like I said, you have to take that retreat. You've got to step back. you got to ask for guidance from your own spirit because your own spirit knows best what is best for you. And um, if you are not taking a step back, if you are too caught up in the in the past or even the present, you're not really seeing the future. You're not really thinking forward, okay? So you need to take a step back from that so that you can figure it out. You need to ask for guidance from your guides. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. All right. Let's see what this is about for you. All right, so the underlying energy is the Two of Cups. So this is about you aligning with your soul self. This is about you, you know, um, really understanding who you are physically and spiritually, okay? Now, Two of Cups, usually that indicates some type of love, some type of soulmate, but I really feel like with the energies given here and what this card is telling me, I'm feeling like it's you finding the other half of your soul. It's like you feel, you um, coming into alignment, you're finally balanced, you're solely balanced, okay? And you're only going to be able to do that if you retreat. Um, we've got the Hanging Man and the Queen of Wands as well. And the Nine of Cups underneath here. And, and Faith. So this is all about you really looking at the bigger picture. Stepping into the person that you are. Owning that confidence. Not regretting what happened in the past. Because now you can see the bigger picture. You can see why it happened. You can see, you know, how your life has gone um, to make you that person that you are today. Um, by keeping your faith, by keeping... Um, Sticking to who you truly are um, and seeing that bigger picture, that's kind of helping you become more in line with your soul self. And in order to do that, sometimes to see the bigger picture, we have to step back. It's kind of like when 
you are um, taking a picture, uh, sometimes you have to make the lens go. I, I'm not a photographer, so, but this is what they're telling me. It's like, you know how sometimes you got to zoom out in order to get the whole picture. And that's basically what they're telling you to do here. Zoom out. And it's funny because um, I'm going to come back to that uh, when I give you the advice because I'm also hitting off of um, that advice card that I'm seeing right here. So I'm going to come back to that. We've got the six of coins. So yeah, this is about coming in big, coming into balance with yourself. All right. For some of you, and you know, this is coming up with the fourth house. So this is about finding out who you truly are. And, and, you know, finally, finally, finally coming into that balance that you can be that right person in the family dynamic here. You have it balanced. You have it together. You can lend more of your finances or more of your physical self to this um, situation because you have taken that time out this weekend to step back and to retreat and to see the bigger picture. And it's like, because of that, you know, come like, this upcoming week, your fourth house, there's going to be abundance brought into your fourth house. It's going to be more balanced. It's going to be more charged, more <laughs> charged. I don't know why they had me say that energetically charged. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot for the better. Um, because you sometimes, and also they're telling me about self care. It's like, you have to take that moment out. You have to push yourself away. Um, so that you can really focus on yourself, what you truly need, what you truly want. And then once you realize that it's like, when you go back into your family dynamic, it's like, because you understand that you become more balanced and you can give more to your family than say you would have been able to do before because you were giving from empty cups. Do you understand what I mean? Um, it's like once you are fully yourself, fully a hundred, feeling a hundred percent, it's like then you can give what you, what you need to give to your family situation. And they're saying that in order to do that, you need to take a step back this weekend and you really need to take some time to yourself, figure it out. Okay. All right, so coming in with Aquarius, we have the Two of Swords. So um, where you have felt mentally blocked or mentally stuck, this weekend it's about becoming mentally unstuck. All right, because Aquarius is all about rebellion, about freedom, about, you know, um, paving the way, forward, future forward thinker. Um, the Two of Swords talks about like a mental block, being indecisive, not knowing which way to go next. And they're saying this weekend, it's like you're breaking free from this mental blockage that you've had for a while. And the reason why you have this mental blockage is because you're too stuck in the past. You need to take some time, retreat, look at the whole picture, let the past go. So that way you can become more balanced, more helpful, more giving, um, in your family and within your family dynamic here. All right. So coming in with Vesta, we have strength. Yes. Oh yes. I love that you got this card with this because this is all about you developing your soul strength. It's about developing who you are as a person and becoming so strong in that and knowing where you want to go, it's like nobody can break you down because you have that strength, because you have taken that time. You take that time to, to you know, to detach from the situation so that you can fully understand them, so that you can fully um, understand the wisdom that's trying to be imparted on you, that's going to make you stronger, okay? This is about you having that strength and putting it back into balance. Um, I mean, not back into balance, but using it to balance you outright. Okay, so solar plexus, I'm getting a lot of solar plexus here. Do some solar plexus meditations. 
throat chakra meditations because you are going to need to speak your truth and heart chakra meditations. So that way you know how to speak your truth, but from a loving place. So these three chakras, your solar plexus, your heart and your throat, you need to balance that out this weekend. So in that way you can properly, you know, go in the right direction in the new direction that you need to go in all right don't be stuck in the past this is all about you moving forward towards your future okay for your advice we've got guidance and we've got shooting star confirmation now with these two i want to go back to what i was saying before about the shooting remember when i said oh what did i say before about the shooting uh, it's like a moment of clarity like you finally get the big picture it like shoots right through you right it's like what you need in order to move forward to have that confirmation that guidance and that confirmation what you need to do to move forward is ask yourself ask yourself for ask your spirit team for guidance but also follow your own guidance okay Follow your own guidance is what I'm getting for a lot of you. You know, you know where you need to go. You know what you need to do. But for some of you, you're having a hard time doing that. And it's like you need to retreat because there's a mental blockage there. You need to clear that mental block blockage by balancing your chakras, your solar plexus, your throat, and your heart chakra. All right. Or your solar plexus, heart, and throat chakra. You need to balance those. This will help you and ask your spirit team for guidance. They will give you the confirmation that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future. Okay, so this weekend, it's very important for you to sum it all up is to retreat. Retreat to yourself. Um, you know, take some alone time. Go on a walk. Go on a bike ride. Or, you know, if you're in an area where it's too cold, you know, shut yourself off in a room for a while and really just, you know, either read or think or meditate, whatever it is that you like to do. All right? Because <clears throat> thinking about too much of the past, living in the past and not and not moving forward for the future is only going to keep you stuck in the past. You're never going to get that future that you want if you keep thinking about the past. All right? Well, Pile Threes, that's all I have for you. If this video helped you out in any way, please give it a like. If you like my um, reading style and you would like to get further <laughs> um, guided messages from me, please hit that uh, subscribe button. I hope you all have a very blessed weekend. I hope it works out very nice for you. And self-care is important. And in order to give to others, self-care is important. Just remember that. All right. Well, I hope you have a nice weekend. Bye.